wake of the Great Pyramid's demise, the hallowed grounds of Atlantis where the mystical skill was used to create life. Lara returns to the ancient city's depths to eradicate the remaining aberration spawned by Napla's hand. Having discovered the existence of a forgotten sector of the metropolis, now a hive for abominable creations guarding a hidden Atlantean hatchery, Lara prepares to thwart their insidious proliferation by destroying their fleshy colony before they can infest the planet. As she slides downwards in eerie descent along familiar, arcane edifices, the haunting rhythm of Atlantis's pulsating heart reverberates through Lara's consciousness, a grim reminder of the unholy living womb that is Atlantis. Lara steals herself to come face to face with a veritable legion of its grotesque progeny, who will fight tooth and claw to defend their profane birthing grounds. Lara's first adventure continues in these chilling bonus levels. Alright guys, welcome back to our playthrough of Tomb Raider 1, and this is the first in the chronological sequence of the bonus levels, the Atlantean Stronghold. And it takes place shortly after our escape from the Great Pyramid uh, in the previous level. And the story is, Lara has returned to the Atlantean Stronghold to destroy all the remaining Atlantean bioweapons created by Natla. So here we are. <laughs> Got secret number one right off the bat. I actually thought this was this was the way to go. Interesting. Now unfortunately I don't know these levels very well. I think I've played them once before many, many years ago because they were never available on the um the Saturn or the PlayStation. So I'm gonna be fumbling around trying to figure out where to go. I'm sorry, it's probably gonna be a bit longer video than usual. And I'm probably going to suck pretty bad. Okay, the fleshy, ornamented sinew of Atlantis continues, and I don't think that Lara could suffer the stuff to reach out into the world. That's why she's here. She's basically an exterminator in this DLC, in these bonus levels, shall we say. Ooh, I hear horsemen already, and unfortunately we don't have any of the weaponry or equipment from the main game, so I'm back to my pistols and one meta pack, which will be very, very careful. Okay. So we have this central structure here. I'll just check what's around the corner. Ah, some shoddy shells, very nice. And we of course gonna hear the beating heart of Atlantis, the living womb, pumping out all these creatures. Okay, you've got some lava and a big drop down there. I think the logical place might be this structure. It seems to be leading us here. Whoops. I can climb. Okay, so we've got a shaft that we can drop down. I just want to take a look at the level proper. I hear flapping.
can see we're in for a lot of combat in this level. It is possibly, uh, positively swarming with Atlantean creations. Just want to take a kind of look at the... Oh, what a lovely angle. Okay, we can very much see that that obelisk-like structure. If we switch to the original... Oh, we can switch to the original graphics? That's great. Big difference, right? Huge. I don't think this... Is, I've never played a high-definition texture pack with um, unfinished business before. It's really, really cool. So we've kind of got like a collapsed pyramid looking structure with holes there, beehive if you will, and stuff scattered around. I'm not sure if we can reach any of it from here. Okay, so where do we begin? All right, well, I mean, I'd say the logical place to begin was this shaft here. So let's, um, let's head on down and see what uh, we find. Oh, I see a shotgun. And a medipack. Gimme, give gimme. Give okay, seems like we can hop down from there. We'll take a look around this section here. Beautiful shotgun shells. Come along with me. Uh, oh, he's right behind me. Oh, that's crazy. Ugh. That was creepy. He just appeared behind me. Ugh. Okay. We've got two Atlantean looking um, doors over here. Kind of reminds me of the ones in Atlas Mines. Are they actually doors? Yes, they are. So maybe they can open. Interesting. Okay. Oh, Ooh, another one. Am I triggering their appearance, or is the level just spitting them out at intervals? I can't tell yet. Okay, alright, so let's figure out where to go next. Let's say over here. I love this collapsed rectangular like structure here. I wonder how easy that was to do in 96. But we haven't seen the angular stuff like that in the main game. And again, we've got more. Let's get higher if we can. I wonder if I can reach this thing over here. Ah, excellent. He certainly got here a lot quicker than we did. It's rather. Okay, so where do we go? Okay, so far so good. <laughs> there we go. You can tell that I don't know what's coming. There you go. All right, I'm loading it from this point here. We'll give that another shot. Now they did say in the little, um, I read a little press release that they uh, released for this game. They did say it was for advanced players. So it's gonna be a lot of like, sneaky underhanded tricks like that falling boulder just there and I'm guessing it's going to be quite hard and a bit we're going to see much of a difficulty spike uh, than the main game Oh, 
this close. Okay. So there's a way we can head in there. It definitely couldn't reach up there. I don't think there's much choice for me but to go inside this collapsed um, obelisk or structure, whatever it is. Okay, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, as the saying goes. Ow! Look at this lovely high-definition flesh, eh? Huge difference from the original. I said during my playthrough that that wall looks a lot like Freddy Krueger's face from, like, Nightmare on Elm Street 5 or 6. Pretty gross. Okay, these lovely little um, fleshy decorations there. I'm just going to hop through them to grab some health. Because already this level is proving pretty, pretty tricky and pretty demanding. Okay, so I've got multiple holes in the floor here. Okay, seems like we'll be alright if we drop down. Just want to get a better look at the back of those ramps. Okay, must just be another way you can enter the room. And then of course there's another hole on this side. Okay, it looks like it's probably leading all to the same place. I'll pick this one. To drop down. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh my. Let's use a meta pack. <sighs> Interesting. Strange looking structure. And lava blocks? That's new. Won't be standing on that one if I can avoid it. We'll equip the shotgun as we head towards these little, um, these little orbs here. So we've got a bit of space, maybe it's safe for us to, um... Ugh! The Atlanteans are literally being dispensed out of, like, that hive, that beehive area. One's a shooter. Totally immune to the lava. Did you notice that? He was standing right on it. Excellent. More shoddy shells. Every time it shows me this angle, I expect something to spit out of those holes. Oh, you can see one over there. Goodness me. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied that's all right. Let's keep moving, shall we? Okay, arrows. No problem. They've done a good job of making this level feel really like a hive, right? Like there's just, there's creatures everywhere, there's just like walls of flesh just like peppered all over. It really does feel like we're walking into the fiery pits of hell or something, yeah? Uh. 
I see vague safety. Walls of fiery lava. I really hope we get some magnums or some oozies soon. You know what, we're in close quarters now. I think it's shotgun time. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? It's like I knew it. Three shots from a shotgun. Greedy. Okay. Okay, we've got a door here. Interesting. Oh god, that scared the crap out of me. Ugh. Oh, come on. All I wanted was some magnum clips. Oof. <sighs> Shall we continue the tradition of getting our asses absolutely kicked? Yes, we shall. Whoops. Tank controls, tank controls direction. Ooh, I've had to use a lot of it. Oh, and they're also dangerous when they explode after you kill them. So just watch that, eh? Okay, so these levels are pretty tough. Pretty tough. I guess we didn't need to grab that stuff, but um, I'm a Tomb Raider and I can't just leave items left on the floor. You know, I've got a sneaking suspicion that they might have come to life anyway when you pull that lever in the corner there. I'm just going to leave it because I just want to I just want to have a look what we're dealing with before I pull any levers. Okay, so there's a second lever here. Third lever. Fourth lever. Lord. Fifth lever. Good grief. Okay, well, let's start with number one, shall we? And work our way upwards. I wonder if the levers, could the levers trigger the Atlanteans coming alive? Whoops, wrong corner. You can see how good my memory is. We seem to have activated or irritated a horseman. That's not, that's not good. If he follows us here, then we've opened that fleshy door, the door in the flesh wall. Let's, uh, let's do this one. I'm not sure what that means. A shot of, uh, Freddy Krueger's skin. Okay. We saw the room from earlier. Okay, we've opened the flesh door. Excellent. And Lord only knows. Okay, so let's head back down. I think it's fair to say that I should probably chuck a save right here because, um, well, yeah, things aren't looking great for us. Let's head down. We'll go into the flesh door that we um, that we opened, and we'll take a look inside. What horrors await us? Cave of fiery lava here. Ooh! Oh, that's quite a bit of them. I think we're gonna need shotgun power. Not to 
mention health packs aplenty. Goodness me. Running out of everything that I picked up. I see some goodies though, which is a good sign. Okay, fairly satisfied we've gotten most of the stuff around here. Ornamented walls, and that's it. Alright, let's head back now into the room where the camera panned to, where we dropped in from the kind of beehive structure. The camera panned there. I just want to see if they've, um... <coughs> Something has changed in that room. I'm just going to speed up some of the backtracking here so it's not uh, so laborious to watch. Yeah, it looks like that layer of flesh is gone. Letting us into more of its uh, innards. Interesting, we've got a lava pit. How strange, is this just a dead end? Hmm. How odd. Maybe it was just for killing off that creature, just if anyone wants all the kills, I'm not sure. Oh, ah, very sneaky. Does that mean we can touch this lava? Yes, okay. Oh, 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 oh! Okay, that was scary. Guess this is the way to go, right? Ugh. Fiery and fleshy, Atlantis's two defining characteristics all in this room. Imagine the smell of this whole level, right? It would be disgusting. It'd be like seared flesh. Ugh. It's a little opening on that side. I'm gonna head over. Be careful here. Okay, so through the fiery pits into this area. Oh, that takes me back to the caves. Dart traps, eh? Hmm, interesting. We've got some water. Two of them!
This is about to get dangerous. Okay. Pushed me into the water. Might be able to get the other one with pistols. I'm trying to conserve as much ammo as I can. Okay, so before we were rudely interrupted, there is a nice refreshing change in that it is water, not lava. Take a quick look into the corners of the room. Oops. Make sure that, um, make sure there's nothing hidden. No levers before we head down. No. Okay. Let's see what the water holds for us. Okay, we've got more uh, collapsed, uh, kind of the nest, right? It's a really large area. Okay. Interesting. see a switch. Very Natla's Mines looking switch. Just opened a door. I'm going to just grab some air because it's um, looking a little bleak for Lara there. Oh, just. Yeah, so it looks like a part of the Atlantean nest, like a wasp's nest, I guess, is the illusion, has um, sunken and collapsed maybe during the um the explosions at the great pyramid or following the great pyramid all right now i just got to find that door that we opened with that lever i'm just gonna grab some air again excuse me i know sorry <laughs> Maybe this way? Yeah. Oh, there's a second door here. Okay, so that means there's got to be another lever somewhere. Let's keep our eyes peeled for where it might be hiding. Aha. Uh -huh. Secret, cool. Still no magnums though. Okay, okay. How many secrets are there at this level? Okay, two. Oh wow, excellent. How many pickups were there? 63, wow, this is a long level. I'd say we're about halfway done. About halfway. Okay, well we know that this isn't the way to go then. This was just a little side piece. Might just uh, chuck a little save here as we venture forth into the relative unknown. Okay, we've got a door there. Oh my, that is kind of creepy, right? I can't help it, I have to push the button. So I opened a door behind them, interesting. So I'm guessing that's going to let them out. 
a smart Tomb Raider might actually keep that closed. Oh, too late. <laughs> well, that's what you get for pulling levers at random. Oop, excuse me. I see him hip hopping. Come on, don't make me go down. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay, that wasn't my plan, that wasn't my plan. Get on with it. Okay, so they're basically flooding you with shotgun ammo. I think we're probably good to switch over to it. Permanently for the moment. I see this way. We've got another switch and another room with a pool. I assume that's going to take us back into the main kind of exterior of the strongholds. Now oh, I've got two switches here. Okay, I'm just going to have a little look at the pool before we continue. Just to kind of see what those levers are going to do, you know? Got an underwater switch here. I'm a simple man, when I see a switch, I pull it. Alright, so let's open the door back into the main area. Okay, nothing major. That's open to the other door, which we'll go to in a sec. And that has released the hordes of Atlantis. Thankfully, they cannot leap over that gap. I just edited out some of the long winded combat just to speed things up a little bit. It only took three hours. Let's have a look what's in this door. Ah uh, yes, some health to replace that which they took from us. Fantastic. Whoops, this way. Okay, that means we can get on with the level proper. I'll use a small one for now. We'll just leave the big one for emergencies, I think. I think it would be wise at this juncture to chuck a little bit of a save here. Because, um, you just don't know.
All right. Onwards. I'm using medic packs in this level like candy. Okay, interesting. Let's start by going here. Maybe. Beautiful large medic pack, thank you. Okay, so we can definitely get to that door when we open it, should we open it. I might just hop over and make sure it's not like one of those doors that opens when you're around it. Okay, no. Cool. Head on back. Continue to have a little look around. we jump and go to climb, we can often move ourselves through walls like this. It's a little Tomb Raider trick that I've picked up over the years. Okay, looks like we can keep heading down. to lead us to this water, no matter what we do. <laughs> Two levers and a path behind. Just have a look here as well. There are so many levers in this level. Okay, let's open the one at the top of the stairs, which we can definitely navigate to, seemingly over there. Let's double check what these levers are all about down here. And have a look at the water proper. Nothing major. Okay. Looks like it leads to some lovely goodies. Just edited out some exploration and grabbing some air. Running out of air here. And a new area, man, this, this level is really like, really labyrinthine, isn't it? We'll walk carefully in between, not take any damage. I see a switch over here. Okay, it's opened an underwater door. Oh, okay, so the underwater door here is timed. All right, let's give this a go. So obviously walking through it is too um, time consuming. I think we'll try to do a running jump. Oh no, yeah, a running jump. Let's have a go. There 
There we go. Aha, uh -huh. the Magnums, thank the Lord. Oops, that was almost worth the pain of uh, getting clipped by those spikes there. All right, we'll heal up. We can shimmy across, but it looks like it only leads to that ramp, so maybe not. I wonder if we can hit this block up here. Yeah. All right. I'm guessing we can slowly make our way up to the very top. Okay. Okay. Okay, and we find ourselves on the other side of that door. Very good. Okay, so I think I'm fairly satisfied that there's only one more, one path to follow just over here. Down this way. Okay, there's definitely a room beneath. I'll just hop over. Okay, there's a path up there. I see a large mini pack or something, so I'm gonna head over. Shotgun shells. Let's go, shoddy. There is a lot of pickups in this level. And and they're all guarded by these annoying creatures. I gotta remember, I mean Lara did come here to kill them all, so <laughs> that's what we're doing. Okay. So there's a path up and a path down, although going down doesn't look like we could be able to get back up. So I'm going to choose the upper path first. Ooh. Octagonal hole here. Interesting. We'll head through these octagonal tunnels here. Some shoddy shells. Oh, that's a little tricky to see, isn't it? Ah. Atlanteans. <laughs> Uh, let's take our new magnums for a spin. All right, and we've emerged on the kind of upper, upper ramparts, upper levels of the stronghold here. Okay, so I can definitely see. Oh, lovely. Okay, so the camera has panned out. 
And I think it's beckoning us to this non-lava hole in the nest there. I did see those magnum clips, however, and I'm going to grab them just before we go, I think. Perfect. No other things that I can see. Eh. Not for now. Okay. Alright then, well it looks like it is the moment of truth. <laughs> right here. Okay, now let's hope that I get this angle right. Oh, I love that. You see how he went through uh, all the rooms we had been in previously in that kind of structure that we um, we saw earlier in the other room. It's a really nice kind of way to loop the level. And this is the same horseman that we saw when we pulled the lever earlier. Oh, I'm perfect. His fireballs couldn't reach us there. Fantastic. Alright, let's look around. Some more flesh. It's a very, like, symmetrical room. There's a pool of water beneath us. Okay, I see a path here. with the switch. I am inclined to check the water first, just because I don't think that's probably where we're going, right? How much lower does this stronghold go? There we go, got some molten rock, I guess. Nope, just a pit. Okay, cool. Well, that makes it rather simple for us, because there's only one path to go down. If I can remember which direction that opening is. I'm not good with directions, alright? <laughs> okay, cool. Let's get back on the beaten track. Okay, wow, that was the end of the level. Alright, well. Well, if you've put up with that hour of footage and you're still here, um, stick with us and we'll, um, we'll head to the next level.